Okay, my brethren, shalom. Shalom to you, brothers. I want to get this out uh, to the brethren all across the uh, world. Uh, in the name of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, Jesus to Christ, uh, Jesus. Uh, all praise to the Most High God, who is uh, Ha Yahweh, who is uh, Jehovah in English, Yahuwah, Yahweh. I've seen uh, several Israelite uh, videos, and the thing is, uh, 325 Council and I see uh, that we are actually uh, programmed by 325 uh, AD, uh, dealing with Constantine, uh, that Judaic Christianity is of the Romans and is not of our people. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, that which the Israelites, uh, the camps have taught, uh, whether it be recall, whether it be uh, IUIC, with Nathaniel, or with uh, Christianity as a cult. Listen to uh, what I have to say. And I pray that you brothers take heed to true doctrine as I show it in the Word of God. So here we go. This is uh, the book of Acts. This is Acts. I'm going to Acts 28 very quickly, uh, very simple. We see that in Acts uh, 28, verse 16, and when we came to Rome, that's Rome right there, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard, but Paul was suffered to dwell by himself with a soldier that kept him. And it came to pass that after three days, Paul called the chief of the Jews. Now, these are our people, the chief of the Jews being in Rome. And when they were come together, he said unto them, Men and brethren, though I have committed nothing against the people or customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who when they had examined me would have let me go, because there was no cause of debt in me. But when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained to appeal unto Caesar, not that I had all to, all to accuse my nation of, for this cause therefore. Therefore have I called for you, being the chief of the Jews in Rome, the authority, our people, the elders, to see you and to speak with you, because that for the hope of Israel I'm bound with this chain. And they said unto him, We neither receive letters out of Judea concerning thee, neither any brethren that came showed to speak any harm of thee. Now listen to this very important. They said, But we, being the chief of the Jews in Rome, Desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest for as Apostle Paul. Give us your insight. For as concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. What is a sect? A sect is a religious denomination. When did Apostle Paul uh, uh, arrive in Rome? Let's see. This is Apostle Paul in Damascus. Uh, 37 to 40, first journey, 45 to 40, second, second journey, 51 to 53 AD, third journey, 54, 58, in prison in Judea, 58, 60. He says that he was actually taken prisoner in uh, Judah, Judea, voyage to Rome, 60, 61, and now we have imprisonment in Rome, 61 63 AD, not 325 AD. Understand when Paul actually gets into Rome. You understand what I'm saying? So here, here the brothers are, are asking him, but we desire to hear thee what thou thinkest. For it's concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. So there's a sect, a religious denomination that's on the scene that the brothers, the chief brothers, being in Rome, they heard of it before Apostle Paul got there. Before he got there, before he got there, we see 60, 61 AD. We see 61, 63 AD. Before he got there, they were already 
hearing about it. They knew concerning it. So Apostle Paul says, you've been taught. We understand. We know this by Gamilia. We want you to break this thing down to us. And then it, then it gives, and, and when they had appointed him a day, there came, a, there came many, not few, many to him in his lodging, to whom he expounded, he interpreted and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Yahweh both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets from morning till evening. So he taught them from the Torah. He taught them from the five books of Moses concerning this sect. What is that sect? Judaic Christianity. Judaic Christianity. No, it's not the way. It's Judaic Christianity. And out of the prophets from morning to evening, he taught them out of the prophets that this Judaic Christianity, this uh, anointed denomination would come. It had to come. It was prophesied to come. Then it shows in some believed the things which were spoken and some believed not. Now, this this is the downfall of our people right here. And some believed the things which were spoken and some believed not. Understand that Apostle Paul actually taught both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets from morning till evening. Morning till evening. That is 12 hours, my brothers, my sisters. That's 12 hours he taught to persuade them. Persuade them. Pers persuading them concerning Jesus. Because why? Yahweh Shai? Because Yahweh Shai is the beginning of Judea Christianity. It is the beginning of Judea Christianity. See, see, my brothers, what you get confused is, is Judea Christianity. You thinking it to be Catholicism. Judea Christianity is not Catholicism. Catholicism deals with idols. When you read concerning the, the New Testament, you see that the brothers are actually telling the brothers to stay away from idols. Even in the book of Revelation, it shows uh, 200 million that's going to be raised up in Revelation chapter 9 to actually destroy, kill one third of the earth who actually serve idols. Come on, brothers, you got to wake up. You got to wake up, brothers and sisters. Let's go to verse 28. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles and that they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had great reasoning among themselves. And Paul dwelt two years in his own hired house and received all that came in unto him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching those things which Concerning the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who is Jesus the Christ, with all confidence, no man, no man forbidden him. So he taught them, my brothers and sisters. He taught them. You got to understand our forefathers caused this to happen because they rejected, as some rejected. He taught out of the law. He taught out of the law of Moses. He taught out of the prophets that this had to come. Be it known, therefore, unto you that. The salvation of God, Elohim, Elohim, is sent to the Gentiles and that they will hear it. Understand that the salvation of the Most High God was sent to the Gentiles. Why? Because Apostle Paul taught for 12 hours, very learned in the law, a Pharisee who can actually quote the whole Torah, actually word for word. Verse for verse without missing anything. To be a Pharisee, you had to have the entire Torah memorized. So my brothers and my sisters, you got to understand that in the word of God, Apostle Paul actually was able to teach and show that this kingdom will come on the scene. Right here in Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60, we see right here, it shows uh, 
a little one to become a thousand and a small one, a great, excuse me, a strong nation. Either Yahweh will hasten it in his time. I will hasten it in his time. I will quickly, I will quickly do it. A new system came on the scene. Persuading them concerning Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. A new kingdom came on the side. Judaic Christianity is taken out of the way. Excuse me. Uh, Judaism. Judaism that is. I have this in, inside of my mind. But let me show you something. God shows us in Isaiah 65. He shows us right here. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. That's another prophecy. Another prophecy that th this is why Apostle Paul said a Jew is one within and not one without. You call yourself Jews. He said one a Jew is one within and one that's not uh, a Jew is one within and not on the outer the outer part. You know what I'm saying? You you claiming you're a Jew, you're proclaiming you're a Jew, you, you're wearing Jewish clothes, but in the inside of you, you're not bowing down to the word of God. So 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 you're not a Jew, you're bowing down to the system of man, these idols and all these different things. So so we see that the most high God show that our people, and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. God changed it to be. Christians, Christianos, Christianos, Christianos. So my brothers, you got to understand, this is prophecy that this, it would come on. Apostle Paul persuaded them concerning Yahweh Shahamashiach. So we find the scripture concerning how this kingdom would actually come by the prophets. And then the Most High God shows us that our people would be slaves. And call it certain by another name. What happened to the Jews that were in the second temple in the time of 66 to, to 70 AD? What happened to our people? They got killed. They were taken off to slavery. This is the prophecy because they rejected Judea Christianity. It was already spoken by the prophets that the Most High God would actually disdain. He would uh, uh, get rid of that name being uh, Jews, being uh, uh, Judaism, he would put it away. He would put it away. This is the prophecy. This is why the Most High God sent the Romans in. The Romans are the spiritual Babylon. Just like when the children of Israel were acting up in, in disobeying God's word, what happens? He sent Nebuchadnezzar in, the, the carnal kingdom. A secular king, he sends him in. He destroys the first temple. The spiritual Babylon, Rome, in the book of Revelation, destroys the second kingdom for the same acts of disobedience. Same acts of disobedience. Same acts of disobedience. Same acts of disobedience, my brothers and sisters. This is not created by those that ruled over us when it came to slavery. This is us. God was impressing it inside of us. Impressing it inside of us that we would get a conscience of who we truly are. So my brothers and my sisters, I want you to remember this. God says... For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. The Greeks called our people Christianos, which are Christians. No more Jews. No more Jews. Ye shall leave your name for a curse. No more Jews until my chosen. The chosen are those, those who followed after God's son. That's Judea Christianity. Let's get it right, brothers. Let's get it right because you're getting slayed as I look. Let's get it right. Shalom. Shalom.